20 English collocations with the word goal from EspressoEnglish.net. The word goal is used in sports. In soccer, goal refers to the equipment, the posts, and the net. Goal also refers to the event of putting the ball inside this piece of equipment. To let in a goal is when the goalkeeper fails to prevent the ball from entering. When the goalkeeper does stop the ball from entering, it is called making a save. In soccer, you can say it was a spectacular goal if the goal was especially impressive. The winning goal or the decisive goal means the goal that won the game. And a tying goal is a goal that made the score equal. For example, 2 to 2. If a soccer player scores an own goal, that means the player accidentally put the ball into their team's own goal. So, it's a point for the other team. If the referee disallows a goal, it means the referee cancels the goal because of some illegal play before the goal was scored. The word goal is also used outside of sports to mean an objective, something you are trying to do or trying to achieve. You can establish a goal or set a goal. This means you decide on an objective. Then, you pursue a goal or work towards a goal. These collocations describe the process of doing activities that will help you reach your objective. When you complete your objective, we say you achieve, attain, or reach the goal. We can also talk about short-term goals and long-term goals. Short-term goals take little time to achieve, and long-term goals take a long time to achieve. A common goal is when two or more people or groups share a goal. An ambitious goal is one that is high and difficult to achieve. And a modest goal is one that is simple and easier to achieve. If a goal is attainable, achievable, or realistic, it means it's possible for that goal to be reached. But if you describe it as an unattainable or unachievable goal, you're saying it's impossible to reach that goal. You can also say the goal is unrealistic. This means it's possible but unlikely that the goal will be reached. If you'd like to learn more combinations of words that are typically used by native English speakers, check out my ebook, 1000 English Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day. It has short, easy to understand lessons that will help you master these combinations of English words. Visit espressoenglish.net. Click on ebooks and look for the 1000 English Collocations ebook plus audio.